is WISN 12 News with breaking news. And we are breaking into programming to bring you an update on that breaking news. A serious crash on Highway 41 near Holy Hill Road. Here's the update. The southbound lanes of 41 are now back open. At one time, three Flight for Life helicopters were called to the scene. All right, Matt Salemi is live in News Chopper 12 right now. And Matt, what are you seeing? Well, the last Flight for Life helicopter left the scene about 3.30. That's when they reopened the southbound lanes. You can see they still have some gaping going on. There's delays that come from the Richfield interchange down past the scene. Uh, so three in total came and took three different passengers away from the scene. Now, they have recalled the reconstruction team, so northbound traffic still being forced off the freeway at Lana Road. You can see one of the vehicles very badly damaged in the rear end. Uh, the two passengers inside that green Acura, they actually walked away from the crash and got into another vehicle and drove away from the scene. Now, at this point, you have two options to get around it. Highway 145 to the east of the freeway and Highway 175 to the west. They're going to be remaining northbound lanes closed until they get this reconstruction completed. So it could be a couple of hours. Yet my advice to you, Highway 175 is jammed all the way back to Highway Q up to Holy Hill Road. And so I would try Highway 145 to get yourself around this until they get the freeway reopened. Reporting live at News Chopper 12, Matt Salemi, WISN 12 News. All right, Matt, and just to clarify, earlier when we broke into programming, we talked about two minivans, a dump truck, and two other cars that were behind the actual, looks like the major part of that accident. Did you see any other cars involved, just to clarify? Now, it looked like there was another vehicle in the uh, enclosure area, but it just drove away, so I'm guessing they just witnessed it and just narrowly missed it. So you can see the two minivans, the uh, green Acura, and the SUV just south of the impact. Uh, just south, I should say, of where the uh, vehicles all came to arrest. Now, I did notice there is a set of skid marks leading right up to those uh, first two vehicles, and then the uh, impact continued on past those vehicles and right up on to where you can see everything came to a halt. So the accident reconstruction team will have something to work with when they arrive on the scene. Again, it could take a couple of hours before they get everything wrapped up. All right, Matt, thank you very much. And as we toss now to uh, our Ben Hutchison, who is live on the ground near Holy Hill Road, Ben, uh, what can you tell us from your perspective? Uh, Matt was just telling us three people transported via three different Flight for Life helicopters. Well, we have been out here for about a half hour. We saw that last Flight for Life leave the scene. Now, I want to show you next to me the ramp here, the southbound lanes. Those did just reopen up about five minutes after the southbound lanes of 41, 45 did. We can take a look down there about a couple hundred yards behind us right now. The traffic, you can see that gapers delay. A lot of cars trying to get through here. In the meantime, before that, cars were getting diverted off here at Holy Hill Road. But again, right now, some traffic backups here. Obviously, nothing moving in the northbound lanes. But we did see that last. Flight for Life leave about 20 minutes ago. In Washington County, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News. All right, Ben, thank you. Again, we don't know the extent of the injuries, but we will continue to stay on this story and have the latest for you as soon as we know it. And of course, in between now and the time that we hit the news or the air for the 5 o'clock news, you can keep up to date on WISN.com as well as following us on Twitter and our Facebook page. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. You've been watching breaking news coverage from WISN 12 News. Stay with WISN 12, WISN.com, and our WISN mobile apps for continuing coverage.